Mr. President, uh, what uh, support can the transport sector uh -huh. expect from uh, the administration? Do we expect more or continued uh, fuel subsidy? No. At gayon din po sa mga pasahero, what can they expect? Patuloy pa rin po ba yung libreng sakay? At i-expand po ba ito? Thank you. Okay. Uh, good. I'm glad you asked. Uh, uh, we just discussed that uh, we are going to try not only to continue the fuel subsidies for the transport sector, but to expand it to include the tricycles, uh, which up to now have not been included. And so we, are, we, we talked about in the cabinet uh, meeting, we talked about the funding, where it can come from, uh, and uh, how we are going to manage uh, the funding for uh, the additional uh, fuel subsidies. We have enough budget, I think, to last for most of this, no, for this year and a little bit beyond. Uh, but we still have to find that, we have to find that money if we're going to continue. The Libring Sakai continues as is. Yeah, that, that, that continues. Uh, but what we are going to do is we are going to do a, uh, uh, a program for the students because if they come in, we will fully subsidize first their, uh, their Pamasai. We'll phase it out because we cannot afford to keep that going. But students will ride for free on LRT2, which is going to the, uh, going to the university belt. Uh, so yes, so that's what we are. We, expanded the fuel, we extended the fuel subsidy and we extended even, we moved the, the subsidy or the, yeah, the, the subsidy for riders. Uh, to the LRT to assist our students who are coming back in September. Next to meet you from CNN. Yes. So I understand that um, your desire is to lower prices of food, right? Mm. So are you inclined to approve additional import volumes for rice, chicken, sugar to uh, bring down pr prices? And if you have any volume, indicative volume mm. that you're looking at. Importation has been used as a price stabilization measure. I don't uh, think that, that that is the primary that is the primary reason for the importation that we'll do now. As a matter of fact, um, the we are going to uh, we are going to try. You know, I think we will do it uh, in the in the sec, in the Department of Agriculture to boost production of rice and corn in the coming two quarters, hanggang uh, Pasco until after Christmas. Uh, again, because there are several, there are several reasons for that. Uh, the reasons because uh, we would prefer not to import, uh, we would prefer to import as little as possible. Uh, so we should increase our own production of rice and corn. Corn especially became very important because the feed wheat that we were importing na cut off ang supply natin. So we have to uh, substitute it with corn. This season, the corn growers were able to come together and provide sufficient, uh, sufficient feed uh, for the broiler production. Uh, so, but we still have to increase production of corn to ensure that that supply, because there's also f there's corn for food and there's corn for feed. So if uh, we are able to increase production sufficiently, then hopefully we are the importations. It's, it, it, we really do not want, it's not, it's not really an import substitution measure. It is a strategic food supply measure. But of course, if it's an uh, import substitution, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, so that's, uh, so that's, what, that's the plan. Uh, that is why I made agriculture the single, the, the, the highest priority of everything that we are doing. Um, because you cannot build an, uh, a strong economy unless you have a foundation of a robust, uh, econo uh, a robust agricultural sector, which assures food supply, uh, even in emergencies. Ms. Maricel Halili. Uh, sir, uh, may we know kung ano po yung most important marching order ninyo to all the cabinet secretaries following the first cabinet meeting earlier? Oh, you cannot, I don't think we can do, we can mini, say one. Because we've been talking anyway for two months. Uh, matagal na namin pinag-usapan yung mga general concepts and general principles. So each department is, has a very, has a very different, uh, has a very, had got very different instructions. The only thing that uh, we have to, that it looks like 
is how that we have to realize how interconnected all the government is. So there isn't one single one. I suppose if there's one single one, is let's get the uh, let's get our bureaucracy streamlined. I gave them. Um, I said I will not. I, I give you a, uh, a relatively free hand in deciding who you want to hire and how you want to change the structure of your of your department. If you if if you if indeed that's what you want to do. Uh, the first thing that, uh, that is an example of that was uh, in Daisara's announcement that we have a plan for full face-to-face -face by November uh, of uh, this year. Uh, September, we will start a phased uh, face-to-face schooling. Um, and I, that face-to-face -face will end up uh, in early November, I say already 100% uh, attendance ng mga bata. Kasama dyan, we have to talk about also vaccination, et cetera, et cetera, uh, because there, there, there are going to be some issues that will be raised. So uh, as usual, I'm, I guess the, if I'm going to single out one instruction, said quickly, let's get this done quickly. Uh, as usual, we're nagmamadali. Of course, we're careful, but we're always in a hurry because we have to get much done in very little time.